guys welcome to the channel this is do more life my name is jeremy if this is your first time this is the channel that teaches travelers how to become better travelers and people that want to educate learn how to become better learners and better educators today i am off on my first trip to kosamet the island of kosamet uh, near bonpei thailand i'm super super excited and Ross was just here. I don't know where he went. But anyway, Ross and I are going to do this today, and it is going to be a blast, so stay tuned. Standing on the pier, we are waiting on... There's Ross back there somewhere, right about there, I think. Hi, Ross. Anyway, we're in energy plus time conservation mode today because it is Monday, and uh, we all have to go back to work and school tomorrow. So sad. The boat that we're taking is actually not the speedboat. The boat that we're taking is the big boat, so it'll take us about 30 to 35 minutes to get there, and that's a 120 baht round trip. The speed boat is 350 baht round trip, so uh, we are going on budget friendly today, not uh, not uh, time conservation mode. <laughs> I thought that's what we were in, but it's all right. It's all good. We're gonna <laughs> as long as we get there. It's only 15 minutes difference. I mean, it's not a big deal, but. Correction to my last point. All right, guys, we're about to board the boat. Well, the boat's already here, but you know, we're just kind of taking our time chilling. I'm sure they'll be ready to go in a few minutes. The speedboat's coming in and everything's looking good. So far, so good. Uh, Ross is telling me uh, dirty jokes. Aren't you, Ross? They're clean. There's no dirt anywhere on them. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But we're gonna have a good time and uh, hopefully bring you some really good footage from Kusumet. So I'm excited to see the island for the first time. And I'm really glad that it's cloudy today, believe it or not. Um, no sun glare. No sun glare, no sun glare. So. And there's no rain. They were calling for thunderstorms all week and they were calling for thunderstorms today. And now it's just clear. It rained like crazy last night though. Boy, it was bad. Ross says the weather report uh, for today is going to be cloudy and yeah, last night we had a major thunderstorm. Like my bungalow shook, and lightning flashed and thunder at the same time. It was, whoop, it was rough, 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 rough. All right, Kosamet coming up next. We are officially on the boat, the big boat now, as you can kind of look around and see, and a little blown out. And there's Ross's face again. I don't know why I keep showing you guys that. I'm very sorry. But uh, <laughs> remember, we can't show my niece. Today, I, today we didn't bring my daughter. Yeah. She didn't feel like playing today. She wanted to work. Good for her. So good. I brought my niece with me. Good. Definitely good for her. So we're on the boat and uh, we're headed that direction, guys. Hopefully, we'll bring you some real good footage. I'm excited. I'm excited. Get excited. And whatever you do, watch me do more life. So as we approach the beach, you guys can see a nice little resort over there that looks to be very, very quiet. However, all the entertainment or um, I would say probably the stuff, cool stuff that you're going to do is going to be more this direction and around that side of the island, which is where we're going to go. So um, hope you guys are enjoying this little introduction here as we start to come into Kosamet. I'm definitely excited and hope you guys are too. Looking pretty cool. I really like this resort though. It looks very clean. Very, very clean, very nice beach. Perhaps a little too peaceful for Kosamet, but I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, we are officially pulling into the pier here and gonna get off and uh, check out Kosamet. So, so far so good. I don't know what these little housing things are over here, but they're kind of neat looking, that's for sure. A little more beach back this way. And this is one really, really cool looking pier. So uh, hopefully the island is as cool and as, <laughs> and as neat as this pier, because this thing's awesome. All right, let's see what this is all about. Okay guys, we have reached the pier and we are now walking uh, toward the entrance of wherever the entrance to... How do you enter a island, by the way? <laughs> I guess it's the, this is like the super safety entrance or something. Um, I'm not sure. Or maybe this is just a regular entrance. Those of you that have tons of experience with Kosamek can probably help me out with this, I'm sure, because 
Uh, there's a lot going on around here, but this is definitely the long way to get you onto the island, that is for sure. And you can see some of the boats out here starting to fill back up with people that are going back. And we're gonna head out this way. And Ross is way up there, so I'm gonna try to catch him real quick and I will see you in just a few. Just so you know, you have to pay 20 baht when you get here for service on the pier. Just a heads up. So this is kind of interesting. There's a little hotel here with Pad Thai Mai Hot something or Hoi something. Um, looks like a pretty decent sized little condo to stay in. And of course, 7-Eleven. Who would have guessed, right? And that is where we came in at. A few food shops right around here uh, next to the 7-Eleven. And we are going to start walking according to Ross. Oh, check this out. Here's the big sign coming in. Not bad, huh? Pretty cool. So let's walk. I guess this is one of the places where you could rent your motorbike for the day. Um, I've been advised that it is best to rent a motorbike here. Do not bring your own because the roads are not that good. This is a international clinic right here with doctors and... Or is that... Money exchange, oh, money exchange, trauma wound care, the whole nine yards of malaria and everything. Hmm, very interesting. Very, very interesting. This looks like some condos right here. What'd you say, Ross? My tip for the day, when you come on the island, you do not have to hop on the sung towels to go. It's literally, it's a five minute drive they're taking you and it doesn't make sense for you to pay unless you're just that lazy. You can walk this, it's less than a mile. Hell, it's not even that a mile, it's a half mile walk to get from here to the beach. So unless you're exhausted, avoid the song towel. waste your money. There you go. Unless you're exhausted, avoid the song towel. Ross says it's a waste your money and I'm inclined to agree with him. But there's a lot of what appears to be motorbike rentals here. And another, what appears to be a nice place to stay. However, it is very, very noisy down here and I'm not sure what it's like at night. So I'm not so sure I would want to stay here. Um, the steam, no, some ed big tree. Sleep to be fine. That's what it says. There's your big tree, your big tree. right there, guys. <laughs> so I've been informed that Coastal Med is a very family friendly island. There's not red light districts and that kind of thing here, which is good for people who want to come and vacation and not have to worry about all the uh, stigma that comes with many places in Thailand. This is definitely not one of those places. And um, it just seems so uh, more relaxed and chill and like there's stuff to do. And uh, you see everybody walking together. There's like guys and girls walking together, but you can tell they're couples and uh, very different from the parts of Thailand or most parts of Thailand I've seen thus far so uh, big thumbs up to Coastal Met. What a nice looking little restaurant here guys out on the just out on the street right on the corner lots of places around here to do different things uh, all professional massage parlors around here that I can tell and I have to say impressive we are approaching another 7-Eleven and another place that has room for rent. So this is kind of like one of those places you walk into and they have rooms for rent everywhere. Uh, this nice little place, Chili here, room for rent, room for rent. Uh, they give you a little, a few details about it. I would say that probably a motorcycle rental shop there. And then on down here, gas and other supplies that you may or may not need while you're here and fresh veggies nothing wrong with uh fresh veggies for sure so anyway guys this is the wrap up of the streets of coastal met and we're gonna see if we can find the beach here we go so in order to get into this place right here you got to pay these guys 200 baht and it doesn't matter if you work here you live here you still pay 200 baht so now we're officially in the straight ahead. Straight ahead, headed toward the beaches. So here's where the sun towels just dropped off. 
And this is where the sun cows dropped off, according to uh, to the left. Ross. Yeah. So you pay thirty bucks for that walk of ten minutes. See, so you, you basically you can walk ten minutes, or you can get a sun cow, and it still probably takes about ten minutes to get here. I would imagine. Right. If you are staying at the further beaches, but if you're staying over here at Hatsa Cow, Hatsa Cow Beach is right through here, then you don't need to take a sun cow. But if you need to go up on the mountain and over, then yes, that would be a good idea. Okay, there you go, guys. In if you walk to Hatsa Cow, you can take the speedboat directly from the pier all the way to your bungalow if you're staying at a different beach other than White Sand Beach here. Cool. Hatsa cow. White Sand Beach. No, hot, hot Side Cow. White Sand Beach is a Cochang. I get them confused. Alright, bottom line is we're headed for a beach. This is a very bright Hot Side Cow, I think is how you pronounce it, beach. And it is loaded with people. I mean loaded with people. Uh, very beautiful. The sand is like um, almost like baby powder when you walk on it. It's just so fine. So, um, it's pretty cool. I, I kind of enjoy it. And Ross is smiling, which is always never a good thing. Yes, I said always never. On nighttime, you have restaurants all the way to the water's edge serving food along the beaches here. That sounds like fun. And somebody does a fire show where they're spinning the yo-yos around that are on fire. I'd love to do the fire show, that'd be awesome. A lot of boats here guys, a lot of boats taking people back and forth. And a whole bunch of tourists still here. He's just trying to move out of the way <laughs> and get off the shore I guess. Not 100% sure, but there's plenty of shade back here, as well as what looks like more uh, places to stay, so that's pretty cool. As I was saying, the speedboats will drop you off right here. Mm -hmm. That's why you saw the speedboat, if you pay more, if you look at the Black Pearl, we saw that same boat earlier taking off. And he dropped people off right here, which means you get your feet wet as you come on to land and hold your luggage over your head. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotcha. And there's also some parasailing going on way out there, I see. That looks pretty fun. So here's a little shot of, what is this right exactly, Ross? Hot Side Cow Resort. And it's been here for... A very long time. Very, very, very long time. I stayed it here 15 years ago the first time. And there's some... Restaurants. Is it restaurants? Oh, restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. And if you look around, I hear people say how tourism is really down in Thailand everywhere. Not on this island. It is packed. And this is the last day of vacation for people. And even the military guards in the front were saying how the island is packed right now. Wow. There's the holiday. So it's still packed out here, guys, even though it's a holiday. Shoes, little store here. And probably people selling uh, on the beach massages and pedicures, manicures, that kind of thing. Uh, and don't forget what? what? Obviously not for you or me, but see how you can do the ladies in your hair. And I'm thinking about braiding my hair, just so you guys know. I think this, I think this would be a good spot. I really do. So nice look around here at Cosumet so far. Um, you can see the beach from here. Uh, you can see the villa, the name on the sign there. And obviously the beach is very, very bright. We're not going to walk back out there again because it was really, really bright. But this seems to be a fairly large restaurant with uh, lots of tourists here. And there's a, this island is very, very diverse. There's a lot of people here with, uh, I would say, a very diverse background and culturally because I've seen Chinese people, um, I've seen Japanese people, I've seen Thai people, I've seen Americans, British. I think I ran into a Russian earlier, and just a big group of really diverse people here. Give time to focus in a little bit, and you can see that the beach is still packed. It's a pretty cool little spot. This is gonna be some of your fresh food here, guys, uh, served on the island itself. And the good thing about it is you can watch them cook it right in front of you. That's pretty cool. 
always like that. More fresh food here. Uh, I'm sure they cook it, not right in front of you, but they still cook it. And out on the beach, it's all blown out. And then come around here to the sunglass shop. I'm thinking of going with the purple. I like the purple. Gotta find one for my beach here. Purple looks good. I'm not gonna wear purple, by the way. Not at all. <laughs> and, uh, but I might wear one of those dresses, though. I hadn't decided yet. There are more restaurant, uh, restaurant, 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 but they also sell, as you can see, fruits. And I forgot what this is called, but this is one of my favorite fruits in the whole world. And so is that. That thing is sweet like crazy. Nice little restaurants here if you want to stop and take a break while you're walking around. Um, I have to say, kind of an impressive island. I'm not going to lie to you. Everybody's seen the beach so far, so I'm just going to keep showing you guys some of these restaurants that are... Yeah, that's actually written in uh, Chinese. How about that? And here comes your fresh seafood. Let this gentleman go by. Fresh seafood here. Looks like we got some sweet potatoes or something cooking. Probably not sweet potatoes, but something's cooking on the grill. And there is your fresh seafood. I'm sure you can uh, pick your own and have at it. Here's the plates uh, with the uncooked stuff. Some of it's cooked. Chicken's cooked. And the prices aren't bad at all, as you can see. So this may be an alternative for lunch. Not sure yet. And uh. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Friendly Thai people, love them. Absolutely love them. All right, let's take a little break and see if we can find Ross. But do you want ice cream though? Because they have ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, more ice cream. And this looks like a little oh, yeah. coffee shop of some sort, definitely back there. And a fruit stand. I really like this island. I think I might have to come out here and spend the night or two, maybe. And while I've been doing all this hard working and shooting and making sure you guys get to see most of the beach, what is Ross doing? He's just chilling, standing there by himself, not doing anything. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but the beach is out there, and if the camera will bring the highlights in, you'll be able to see it, but that's not going to. Just know, gentlemen, that a new camera's coming soon, and hopefully uh, we won't have this problem anymore. So, how are you, Ross? I'm fantastic. But my little niece here is getting hungry, so we're going to be looking for... There's a restaurant up ahead here that's off the beach on the road that serves very good food that I know about. I'm actually getting a little hungry myself, so... That works out well for everybody. Though. Yeah, probably not, probably not a bad you know idea. What a view, right? I'm just looking around at the... Uh, this is a scenic area here on Cosumet, and just kind of allows you to take a look around, maybe take some pictures, and we're headed to this restaurant down here right now. I'm pretty excited about that, so <sighs> nice little rocky show, and this, uh, according to Ross, this road used to be dirt, and this is one reason you didn't want to bring your own bike, but hey, looks good so far. There's another resort called Naga Resort right there. Um, Let's see what else we can find. I like the scenic area though, pretty cool. Probably go stand over there and catch some really cool uh, parasailing and other things. Anyway, go submit, it continues. This is the restaurant Ross has decided to eat at and it is called, I don't know what that sign says, but whatever it says, that's what it's called. <laughs> Good view of the beach um, out in the distance there. I got the lens set very wide, so you can't really see just how close to the beach you actually are. But uh, another little hut, rooms and restaurants here. Some very beautiful architecture up there. And more paved road. I'm pretty impressed with this island. It's such a chill island, and it's... Uh, it's very touristy, um, but there's no hanky panky here, and I like that. There, it's just, it's just tourist, and it's just uh, uh, people having a good time, relaxing on the beach, and looking to get some good food, and you know, it's just different, it's different from what I'm used to uh, seeing in Thailand. And I have to say, thus far, 
I am thoroughly impressed with the island of Cosumet. So this is the restaurant I told you we were gonna stop and eat at. And I want you to look at some of these prices on the menu because they're kind of baffling really, just to be honest with you. Ross says they've come down because of so much competition. Um, look at the price. Just very, very, very cheap. 70 baht. 70 baht, 80 baht for egg sandwiches and portraits with banana, omelets, hunter baht. Very, very, very inexpensive. So let me get some uh, food ordered here and I will see you guys in a few. Okay guys, we are finishing up lunch here and this is gonna be kind of my wrap up for my first trip to Cosumet because um, we are going to take pictures on the way out and I'm not gonna vlog because I don't have that many hands. So um, I wanna say that this is probably one of the best, uh, most calm islands, um, peaceful, relaxing, the hospitality is amazing. Uh, even when you um, are just walking around, the, the Thai people here and even tourists here are just extremely nice. And I have to say that um, the white sandy beaches here, the, the baby powder beaches, are something I look forward to coming and seeing again. I will definitely be making another trip out to Costa Med at some point in time. And I really hope uh, to bring some company with me next time. Maybe I'll get the school group together and we'll come out here. Or when I say school group, I mean a group of teachers. Um, or maybe not. Maybe uh, maybe I just come by myself and continue to do the solo travel thing. I don't know. But what I do know is I got up at 4 a.m. this morning and I am tired and we are getting ready to roll up out of here. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, week, weekend, wherever you are. And uh, whatever you do today, be sure you do more life.